What's up YouTube? I'm Melton Metal Anthony. Today we're going to be working on a cast aluminum piece. Cast aluminum is one of those things a lot of people don't like to weld. Personally, uh, I don't mind. Uh, I like the challenge. It's always a little difficult. Especially something like this that's been exposed to salt water. Uh, one of the issues you see a lot of people run into and uh, I've run into myself is contamination. All right, here's our piece up close. As you can see, there's the crack on this side and here's the crack on this side. I believe this is the combustion side and this is the water jacket side by the corrosion. Um, I'm not sure what series aluminum this is. So we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna use a 4043 wire um, or filler rod if you wanna call it that. And uh, we're gonna see how that works out for us. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and get our TIG gun set up. I have this glass kit so we can see the tungsten a little bit better. It's my first time using it. So bear with me, just putting a little spit on the O-ring there so it slips over this and then it slips into the glass end with no problem. There we go, okay. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna screw that in there. Okay, seems tight to me. All right, take our coil, drop it in through the back. All right, and now we need to sharpen our tungsten. I like to do a dull point on my tungsten whenever I'm doing rare earth, um, and because I'm welding aluminum, uh, a sharp point whenever I'm using thoriated and I'm welding steel. So let's get that done. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and attempt to grind this. All right, so that's about the tip I like to get on my tungsten. Uh, it's not perfect, um, a little bit of grease on it. But yeah, that's the tip I like to get right there on my tungsten whenever I'm welding aluminum. Let's see. It's the right size. All right, so that's about a fair stick out, I think, um, what I got going on there. So that's the glass uh, cup set up right there. We've got this nice and tightened down. Uh, I think that stick out is about a quarter of an inch, maybe a little bit more, uh, maybe a little bit less, but that's uh, good enough for me. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start getting this cleaned up. So I like to take a stainless wire brush that I only use on aluminum, that's how I know aluminum only and just go ahead and give it a nice scratch down and I like to alternate that whenever I'm doing a cast with acetone so I'll go a little put a little bit of acetone on just to loosen the stuff up and then I'll hit it with our wire brush All right, now that I've kind of cleaned this up with the wire brush and a little bit of acetone, we've gone back and forth a couple of times. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get a little blowtorch out and I'm gonna heat this up and then go ahead and wire brush and acetone again. Uh, it's an, a trick I learned from an old timer. I'm not really sure if it does too much, but I don't think it could hurt. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. All right, so we're gonna let this cool down for a second. As you can see, we got it pretty clean. It's not perfect, uh, but what we're gonna go ahead and do is let it cool. Then we're gonna hit it with some acetone again. And then we're gonna bring our TIG gun over, turn it on to super low amp, 
and we're just going to run the cleaning action over the area on both sides. After we run the cleaning action over it, we're going to come back with our wire brush again, hit it one more time, again with the acetone, um, and then we're going to come with our Dremel, bevel this out, and then hopefully we'll be ready, ready to weld by that point. Get our machine turned on, our gas turned on. We'll be running right about uh, 20 uh, CFH on our uh, gas here. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cut our amps way down to like something ridiculous, like 25 or something like that. At, let's just go to 20, whatever. And we're just gonna use basically uh, the, the gun right now just for the cleaning action, just to kind of boil out some of those imperfections, those impurities who have embedded themselves into the pores of the metal. Um, we're gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and turn our, oh, it's not on AC, it's on DC. Okay, so AC, putting it on AC would help. Turn our Hertz, we can turn our Hertz way down too. Uh, now our balance, we're gonna turn this way up, all the way to 50. Um, yeah, that sounds great. Like I said, we're just running the cleaning action over our welds. Okay, so you, as you can see here, some of the stuff boiled out when we were just running the cleaning action over it. Um, that was on this side here. I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over and do the same thing to the other side and see what boils out over there. All right, time to get our Dremel and go ahead and clean this. Clean it from the opposite side and probably just weld it from this side. We understand there's no clearance requirements, so I can build this up a little bit and it's not gonna be a big deal. As long as it doesn't wa leak water into the uh, combustion end, we're good to go. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and Dremel this out. I've put the, a carbide tip on my Dremel here. I'm just gonna go ahead and Dremel it away. So I'm pretty happy with how it came out. You can see we got it back to that nice shiny aluminum looking state, uh, both inside and out. You wanna clean um, as far as the surrounding areas as you can because aluminum has a habit of pulling any sort of uh, debris from the cleaning action into your weld. Uh, so just do your best. Um, this isn't gonna come out perfect. There's no way it can. There's just too much contamination. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and try to weld this up right now. I'm gonna do my best at it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take advantage of my jig table here, and I'm gonna clamp this thing down. It's a pretty thin piece of aluminum. It looks pretty warped already, but I'm gonna go ahead and clamp it down anyway, just in case I don't wanna warp it on the customer and uh, don't have any issues, even though it looks pretty malleable, like they could probably just turn it back into place. But at least like this, I know it's not me who warped it, you know? It's uh, the guy who owns the piece. big of a rod we're gonna go ahead and size down we come back with the wire brush and just clean up some of that cleaning action mess some of the soot which as you can see we're getting a pretty clean I uh, well you might may, may not be able to see it on your end but we're gonna get a pretty clean puddle because of the extensive cleaning work we did to start this project remember with aluminum clean 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 and you'll be good to go all right
right. So that's looking pretty good on this side so far. I got one more spot I want to cover up. Of course, it doesn't look like I'm welding some anodized aluminum or some extruded or something. I mean, we're working with a dirty old piece that's been in salt water. It's been exposed to everything you don't want aluminum exposed to before you weld it. So this is coming out pretty good considering all that. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I know this is going to be okay. Um, it shouldn't. It shouldn't leak. But uh, yeah, let's give it one more spot on this side, and then we'll flip it, and then weld it from the opposite. All right, as you can see, so this side we just kind of have a globbed on mess. That's what happens sometimes with cast. This was some particularly dirty stuff. I'd have to say one of the dirtiest pieces I've ever done. So we're gonna go ahead and as you can see, we've got some full penetration on uh, most of it. Um, definitely not perfect, but I think it'll hold. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna fill this in. So there it is. It's not perfect by any means, but it's really thin, really dirty cast aluminum. That's how you do it, guys. All right, guys, so thanks for watching. My name is Mountain Metal Anthony. Uh, this is my channel. If you guys like what you've seen here today, feel free to subscribe and leave a comment if there's something I could have done different, better, or if you like what you saw. And basically every project I've been doing the last few weeks I've been trying to make a video out of. Uh, not everything is so video friendly. But um, yeah guys, have a great day and keep on welding.